Today's guest is Jack Delaccio, and I know I didn't say that correctly. <laughs> he told me how, but he sounded so Italian and cool when he said it. But Jack is the founder and CEO of Essentia. So um, he shares in this episode about back in 2011, Ben Greenfield was obsessed with Essentia mattresses and their products. They have pillows and sheets and all these things. They're like beyond organic. They're also performance mattresses, right? So they're not only like the highest quality you can get, but in terms of organic quality, no chemicals and all of that, but they're also really big on performance and how you're the sleep quality that you're getting. And it kind of blew up um, in the health world from there. Um, Dr. Mark Hyman, Dave Asprey, Deepak Chopra like in many others, love Essentia mattresses and their, all their products. They also supply mattresses to many uh, members of the NBA, NFL, MLS, and over a quarter of um, NHL players all sleep on these mattresses. Okay. So he's going to share with us today why like why this stuff matters. Well, and I thought it was very enlightening for me because sleep is obviously a huge part of health and biohacking that I'm into, but I admit I've kind of overlooked the mattress thing. I, I have, I have overlooked the mattress thing. And so this was really enlightening for me. So I hope it will be for you guys as well. You'll hear right out of the gate. I'm like, <laughs> fangirling over their pillow because they were so nice to send me one. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, like I, I opened that pillow and was like, Oh my gosh, none of my kids are stealing this thing for me. This is freaking mine. It was like an, oh shit, <laughs> this thing is nice. So I get it, you know? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, also towards the end of the episode, I really loved this part where Jack shares how he basically made a decision to go like the money route of marketers and, you know, how they were trying to tell him to run his business. And he's like, no, like he let that all go. and was like, no, I, I am creating something good for the world that helps and like the path that that took this company on is just absolutely amazing. And it's just, I love hearing stories like that because it's like, yes, like the universe or God or whatever, however you see it, like rewards us for bringing goodness to the world. And that is what they're doing here. So real quick heads up before we dive in, they, they gave a coupon code to me for you guys. So it's a hundred dollars off their mattress and you can use it on top of any sales they might be having, which is super generous. So it's coach Tara, um, anytime at my If you want to learn more after this, you can follow them on in Instagram. It's Essentia gram. <laughs> so when I say my Essentia, it's E S S E N T I A. Okay. We'll go ahead and dive in. Here is Jack Delaccio. <laughs> Okay. So Jack, first of all, I have to say that your team sent me one of your pillows and I'm like, I'm like a greedy little child over that pillow. Like it's floating around my house. My kids are grabbing it's, it's really good. And I'm not just saying that to like, you know, blow smoke up everybody's, you know what, like it's really, it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and the, and I love that it says beyond organic on it. We'll get into that a little bit. But before we start, you know, I think a lot of us have heard like, oh, your mattress really matters. You're like on it for so much of your life and it really matters. And you hear all these horror stories about things that are in mattresses and all this, but I'd say most of us aren't really educated. So I'd love for you to educate us today on why the quality of ingredients in your ingredients, you know, the, the materials in your mattress matter and how you got started in this whole business. So can you start off by just telling us like, how, how did this happen? Why did you become this organic, you know, proponent of mattresses? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, some people are starting to call me a late, a latex nerd, but basically <laughs> I got, I got into this uh, 20 years ago, uh, 20 years ago, my family was in, in the latex home business and I wasn't, I was in no work and design and, and I had my own business, which uh, uh, was very satisfied with. It was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, then I had two family members who were sick and um, who were battling cancer. And, uh, you know, just as we started to educate ourselves about their environment, their support and what they needed, um, I took an interest in, in indoor air quality uh, just because of their intolerances. You right. know, we shifted. And... Um, Latex was something we knew at the dinner table just because it was a family business. And uh, although not necessarily involved in it, I, I had a, a pretty good, deep knowledge of it. And I started to wonder why, um, why you know, one, there were certain challenges through their treatments in dealing with um, uh, latex, whether it be um, the allergens that were coming out of, uh, um, out of the wool, allergens that were coming from dust mites. So organic products uh, have issues. 
But then if you shift over to, um, they had aches and pains and organic mattresses were not resolving those, were not helping with pressure redistribution. And when you looked at the chemical ones, the, the memory foam ones, well, those were much more harsh and severe for respiratory issues and right. developing rashes and chemical uh, sensitivities. So it really all came around uh, 20 years ago, realizing uh, when someone's hypersensitive to something, um, the, the indoor air environment and the indoor sleep environment was so critical. But um, I never realized that as the deeper I, I dug into this, how it, it impacts everyone. And, um, you know, a healthy person maybe just doesn't realize what right. their environment is doing to them, but it really is. And um, so, so I, I started on my journey to try to figure out ways to improve latex foam and make the next generation of latex foam where it could be better pressure redistribution, um, a, you know, a, a certain recovery speed. And, you know, initially organic was my main thing is, is, is the indoor air quality. But as I, you know, I, I, I launched the company in 2005 uh, when I developed the first natural memory foam, but my, my, my research didn't end there and my learning didn't end there. And uh, by 2009, I was working with many uh, pro athletes and uh, I was learning from them. You know, I, I felt that my first phase of, of, of development, I was learning from doctors and, um, um, you know, uh, certain medical specialists who were focused on health and wellness. But when I started talking to players, it was interesting. Now it's, it's recovery and performance. Right. And um, I really felt that that was such an, uh, two amazing extreme, the hypersensitive and weak, Right, and super powerful uh, elite performance. Right, uh, and they had so many things in common because that elite athlete, he's really in touch with uh, he is mm -hmm. him or her is so in touch with their body. Right, and they know when something's off, just like a hypersensitive person knows that something's off. And I was realizing how uh, what I define now as sleep stimulants interfere with your recovery. And uh, so that's been the, the path that I've taken is uh, not only to help people who are uh, ill and unwell, and I love helping them, uh, but I'm also passionate about helping people who uh, are thriving to, wow. to be better, to perform better, uh, to be their best self, um, you know, slow down that aging process and, 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 and the uh, wellness uh, path that they're on. Um, so by 2012, we just hit it off with so many pro athletes. It was insane. Yeah, I know. I noticed you guys are supplying mattresses to the NBA, NBA players, um, NFL, MLS, NHL. I mean, like all of them, you know, yeah. like, and that's pretty amazing. And I love what you're saying right there about um, how when you're sick, you're very sensitive to every little thing, but also when you're really in tune, like I def, cause I had a transformation in which I was unhealthy, medium healthy. And when you're healthier and I, my clients say this all the time, you, you notice more, all the little things you eat a cupcake when you're in prime condition, you notice you're like, dude, that brought me down a little bit. I think yeah. it. Okay. You know, but when I was eating that stuff all the time, I didn't even notice, you know, so you're, you're working with the, the sensitive, uh, since you're, you're seeing how much this is impacting the people who are sensitive and aware to how much different little facets of their life are impacting them. So, yeah. so what have your, what have your, um, athletes been saying about it? Is it, is it about the way the weight is distributed? You know, like what, what, why are they so attracted to the mattress that you guys so, make? Uh, initially, um, the, the, the first players who got onto us and we're really strong with NHL players. So over 25% of the league sleeps on our beds. And, <laughs> wow. uh, I got to really um, explore so much with them and, 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 and get really good feedback. And we even had wearables on some players where we got real data. Cool. We were able to pull out. So um, what they loved about it is that they felt good. They felt rested. They felt focused. And for a pro athlete, focus is so important because that, that, that brings down your stress level, right. it lets you perform better. So, so there's the mental part of the game and the physical recovery part of the yeah. game, right? And um, they just felt great. Uh, a lot, uh, some of them felt great knowing that they were sleeping on an organic, healthy product. Others right. just felt better physically and recovering faster. And they just noticed the difference in their training. Um, what really 
sets us apart is not just one element. It's not just pressure redistribution. And that's right. one that I focused on so much is not compromising anything. Because in most cases, you compromise organic uh, and, and you're losing on performance. So the right. stimulants that I talk about are, uh, one is what you mentioned with pressure redistribution, that's pain. So if, if you're feeling pain, you're not sleeping yeah. well. Yeah. So pressure redistribution and proper spinal support is what will resolve pain. Um, the only way to do that is through extremely high density, but high right. elasticity material. So yeah. people are used to hearing a memory foam having pressure redistribution, but that creates a body cast. A body cast, that two things are happening with that. One, you're, you're, you're absorbing chemicals from that, uh, from that uh, chemical product. That's a stimulant. Two, it's trapping heat. Heat is a stimulant, which again, works against your uh, proper sleep. And, and then you can't move and certain, certain movements are natural. So um, just in your thought process, in your dreams, you know, it, it may uh, provoke movement and you don't want that movement to wake you up. So we make a very dense, um, very high elasticity product that follows the curves of your back and your shoulders and your neck and make sure that everything's well supported. So, so density is not just something that's good for durability uh, when it comes to the, your pocketbook. So you'll pay it more for a high density product. It'll last longer. So it makes financial sense. However, it, it, it means that you're getting the proper support for the duration of, of, of the lifetime of the, this product. So most beds start to fail within 18 months to three years and people just change them after seven because they, they've tolerated for, for many right. years. Our goal is that, you know, this is working for people 20 years in and at the same level as when they got it. Um, so, so really it comes down to these stimulants. And what's really been interesting with the players is that they've, um, they, they volunteer and uh, with confidential um, uh, uh, information on their, on their tracking, but we've, uh, we've done a double blind um, study with them. And nice. we've had a group sleep on what they're used to, which was the conventional memory foam. We've had a different group uh, sleeping on the, you know, what's been popular is also some gel foams. Mm -hmm. We had a group sleeping on regular organic beds. And then we've had our group um, sleeping on the Accenture mattress and the numbers were insane. It's awesome. it, it, the amount of, 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 of deep sleep and REM sleep is about double what you wow. have, you know, those other beds. And then that's what, that's where you get the recovery, deep sleep and REM sleep. You're getting physical recovery and mental recovery. Um, so the, that, that's, that's the game changer. That's really wow. what they get wow. that. So my nerdy health coach brain is going nuts right now. Cause I'm like thinking about why all the reasons that could be. And I'm one, one part of my work that I do is, um, it involves neurotransmitters and I, and I've noticed, um, that I've worked with a lot of high performers and I have worked with some ex NFL players and I ha I have them do a test where we basically run test their personality traits to see which neurotransmitters that might mean that they're kind of high or low end. And the athletes are always in the high performers, they're always dopamine dominant. So what does dopamine do? It makes you alert. It makes you awake. And oftentimes these people have a very hard time staying asleep because they're so alert. You know, it's awesome in regular life. Cause they're like, they get it. They see life at a level that other people don't like it's a superpower, but it's really hard for sleep. And so I have noticed that these, you know, these are the people that have the hardest time, like with sleep quality. So for high performers like this, this is, I'm like, yeah, that would be really a big, huge game changer, especially also, I mean, I don't mean to be like sexist or, you know, make stereotypes, but I feel like men sleep hotter <laughs> than women typically. Like it's kind of almost mm -hmm. a joke, right? The men always want the thermostat lower than women. They yep. do have more testosterone. They, you know, their metabolism's faster. And I've had so many of my male clients or friends or whoever, they're just like, dude, if it's hot, like I can not sleep, you know? So that like between dopamine and feeling hot in the middle of the night, waking you up. I mean that to sleep is 
I always tell my clients, I'm like, nothing trumps sleep, nothing, not your morning routine, not your gym workout, not any, like nothing like sleep is you want to take a fat burner, take sleep, you know, <laughs> like that is the key to all of it. Now I want you to go to bed earlier so you can do all the workout and the morning routine and all that stuff. But like it is, it's the foundation. It's when we cl literally cleanse our brains, our bodies heal, our guts heal everything. And so, yeah, from someone with cancer to an elite athlete, to just everyday people like us, like it's crucial for health. Yeah. So yeah, love it. That's always something interesting about heat and, and, and heat is a big obstacle in trying to, uh, uh, to fall asleep. And that's for, you know, not just for men, men and women. Right. Um, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I don't mean to make the women feel unheard. Sorry. Yeah, men just about it a lot more. <laughs> uh, but, but ultimately we not, What's really popular these days, because people are realizing that heat is an issue with sleep, is phase-changing chemicals in um, textiles wow. and mattresses. Wow. Uh, the problem with that is you're introducing another chemical, which is another stimulant. And these phase-changing chemicals are micro-encapsulated chemicals, which wow. have additional wow. fire, fire barrier uh, chemicals in them. So you're really adding to the cocktail wow. of stimulants to the body. Another thing we've realized is that... that um, People are, are kind of, consumers typically go to a store, they feel something, feels cool, feels great. They're not really um, trying the mattress uh, for, for the entire eight hours that they need, right? right. So with the face changing chemicals, I call them great, you know, great store uh, uh, marketing items because what ends up happening is they feel cold to the touch. But what's really happening is it, it, it's a chemical reaction and it's a cool reaction. So your body heat, uh, activates this chemical and, and, and you get a, oh my cool gosh. Feel. However, that's not how the body works. The body in order to get deep sleep needs to be constantly dynamically dropping in temperature. If you're increasing in temperature, you're stimulating the central nervous system. If right. you're cooling off, you're slowing down the central nervous system. So what, what we've done in our beds, we, we, we've been able to slowly constantly be uh, allowing your body heat to escape. So you're not gonna feel an ice cold surface when you get on there, but your body temperature and the surface of the bed is constantly dropping. And that's, that's kind of how we get you into deep sleep and stay there longer. Wow. That's awesome. It's funny. I just was hanging out with one of my friends last night who is also a health coach and super nerdy on all this stuff. And she, we were talking about circadian rhythm and she was talking about temperature in relation to circadian rhythm. And we were also discussing, I just have to share with my audience, like it's so, that's why it's also important not to eat right before bed because it raises your body temperature. So if you've ever fasted, you may have noticed that you start to get cold after a while. And so our, our bodies naturally, like if we'll stop eating, three hours or so before bed, that temperature will drop. And then you get in a mattress like this and you make sure it's staying there. Yeah. You're going to get way more deep sleep that way, which is really, really awesome. And I, I know you guys, you have like sheets and pillows and all those things. And I, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm being serious when I say like, when I felt that pillow, I was like, Oh, like, excuse my language, but I was like, Oh shit, this thing is nice. <laughs> Um, and so what, what, what is, is it just cubes of this foam that you make, or how do you guys make these pillows? Cause they're seriously so good. <laughs> so, um, a lot of our focus concentration development is in the mattress. So okay. everything we do. So, so our material that I've developed is, um, what I'm referring to is beyond latex. It's, it's a, a slow response latex foam that has so many uh, we've progressed over the years to make it so awesome for, but it's for thermal regulation, uh, organic uh, content. So you're not having any off gassing when it came to the pillows, we're using the exact same material. So I figured uh, just chopped so up. You, yeah. So <laughs> the, 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 the bottle that you have is our comfort pillow. It's the most popular pillow that we have. It's chopped up three different formulations of our natural huh. memory chopped up so that it has a certain consistency, certain support. It's the first and only pillow of a loose, what we call a loose fill pillow. It's the only loose fill pillow that's actually supported. Most loose fill pillows are just fluff. Right. No, yeah. no, no, no. This is, this is like, it's like one of those like pillows for life that like your kid would want to take into like when they're married, they're like, that's my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's really amazing. That's, that's so awesome. And I, I wanted to dive into a little bit. I um, read that you guys were working with Mayo Clinic in this well living lab. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well living lab is, is actually pretty awesome. It's a, 
Um, it, it's one of the uh, devils. Have you, have you probably been uh, seeing commercials over the last year, uh, the health safety rating. Health safety yeah. rating it had some great commercials with great celebrities on it. Um, well, ever since COVID hit, there's been a high exposure to indoor air quality, uh, whether it be from viruses or, or everything in the in, in, indoors. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Delos, uh, who is behind the health safety rating, is also a uh, partner with the Mayo Clinic with the Well Living Lab. The Well Living Lab is a one of a kind institution that um, creates simulates environments, uh, indoor environment, whether it be office or home, and does all kinds of testing on it. So they will, uh, they, they, they'll, they'll bring in um, the whole office of people and they'll recreate their work environment. And they'll, wow. they'll introduce noise and different, different noises, different lights, different air qualities, and uh, just try to see the human behavior, the wow. human wellness. So it's a really incredible institution. And uh, yeah. they reached out to me in 2012 and uh, they asked if they if, if I would volunteer one of my mattresses for full evaluation, um, and they were testing hundreds of mattresses. Wow! Their goal was to identify a category and and, and set a standard. Um, it was really for us it was flattering, really interesting that you know we 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 gave our model uh, for testing, and um, then they called and, and purchased another model where they wanted to do some advanced testing on it. And what was really cool about it is that six months in, and there was a dilemma. The dilemma was that the Essentia mattress uh, performed at such a level higher than anyone else that they were they didn't want to endorse a product because they're not there to endorse any product. They're here to set a standard and set a limit. But the difference between the Essentia mattress and how it performed thermal regulation pressure redistribution, spinal support, um, allergen-free uh, environment was different where every, every, every other maker had some sort of compromise somewhere. It could mm. be organic, but it can't be performing. It could be pressure relieving, but it, it can't be allergen-free. Right. So there was, there was always something and we, we had a zero compromise. Um, so since then, um, I've been also involved as a, uh, as a resource for them for material science and, and knowledge wow. about sleep and sleep materials. So uh, we, we formed a relationship of, 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 of exchanging knowledge and information since then. Um, and they've been a great, cool. uh, great partner to us because uh, you know, anytime any substantial project uh, is looking for the ultimate in wellness, although the direct them our way, uh, which has been a nice relationship throughout, throughout the years. I think through them, we've been in, uh, thousands of MGM rooms for wellness travel. So we were at Bellagio, Aria, Delano. So you know, uh, uh, oddly, the oddly that gambling unhealthy strip has uh, has a whole bunch of health conscious rooms in it. <laughs> that thank God, <laughs> it's so needed. It's needed there more than anywhere. I always, I actually have a trip to Vegas coming up, and I'm always like. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Maybe get off the strip a little bit. It feels a little more healthy, but <laughs> I'm yeah. glad that you guys are, you know, there, I'm glad that there is some push for that there. That's nice yeah. to hear. That's, that's amazing. Um, They're actually I also, some of the most popular rooms, believe it or not. People are, are, are prefer to get upgraded to a wellness room than nice. a suite. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. That's yeah. so awesome. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. That makes me happy about like what's happening in the world. I'm like, yay, people exactly. care and are willing to invest in healthy. Yay. Um, um, I also wanted to ask you about the Betterhood program that you guys have. I was reading about that a little bit. Could you explain what that is? So the Betterhood program was um, years ago when we were starting out, we, we, we started opening up some, some sh uh, shops in different communities. And, um, you know, we started in Canada with Toronto and Vancouver were our first two stores in, in the U.S. We opened up in New York and, and, and uh, um, Santa Monica and San Francisco. And every time I went into these uh, areas, I kind of felt like I didn't want to, uh, uh, I, I wanted to be part of the community. I didn't want to be this company coming for externally and kind of invading in a neighborhood and expecting to take and not give. Yeah. So I launched this uh, betterhood concept was every store and every manager had a responsibility to do outreach and to do charitable work and Ooh. to help um, whoever they can, whoever, whoever it, it didn't have to be, there was no set formula. 
So, uh, you know, it could be a, a, a pet adoption. It could be, we, we did a lot of uh, artists who couldn't get their uh, work displayed in galleries. Uh, well, use our, use our space. We'd never That's charge cool. anything and give everyone an opportunity, whether it be a business person opportunity or a less fortunate opportunity. Veterhood's evolved for us during COVID. We, we, we shut down all the three stores. So uh, all, all of our uh, consumers will, will buy us through our website. Um, and about eight months in, it struck me. I go, hold on, what's going on with Betterhood? We, 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 make, we we've left all these communities, but yeah. I feel that that was a, I, I felt good that we were always doing something in those right. communities. We can't just walk away. So we, um, we redesigned our whole operation of Betterhood. It became central to our uh, factory and operations. And now we, we, we donate. So uh, last year we did over $1 million in, in, in donating to, um, specifically we were, we were choosing um, um, people who may have been impacted by COVID in, in the not so obvious way. Um, sadly enough, when people were uh, under lockdowns, so a lot of children, a lot of women that were being abused and you don't hear about this very much, but right. when depression hits home, the right. family unit breaks apart. And so we found um, different centers who were actually um, helping out women, helping out children, um, you know, a, a place to stay. And yeah. we were, we were complete, we were um, uh, doting on our, our beds for these centers. That's awesome. So we did That's a lot awesome. of that and that, you know, we were really happy to um, realize that with the closing of these stores, our betterhood was kind of just in limbo. And um, yeah actually even more satisfied with the direction we took with it and uh, helping. I love somebody. that. I love that. Uh, yeah. It shows where your intentions are. Cause you're not like, Oh, well, I guess we just don't do that anymore. Cause we're not in the community. You're like, no, we still have to help. <laughs> that's Absolutely. Awesome. And that's so, that's so beautiful that, um, someone coming in from that situation is able to sleep in a bed that is like, you know, what they have at the Bellagio and, you know, professional athletes, like the highest quality. I'm like, they deserve that. They deserve like the best bed, you know? So I love that so much. Um, I know that you guys have, you know, you, you're supported all over the health community. Maybe some of my listeners is not their first time hearing about you guys. Maybe some of them already have a since yet, but I know, you know, Dr. Mark Hyman and Dave Asprey and Deepak Chopra and Ben Greenfield and all these guys, like all love your guys mattresses. Um, how did you guys really like, um, get into the health community? You know what I mean? Was it, was that, did they just find you or like, how long have you guys, I guess you've been going for like, did you say 20 years? How long is Essentia? A 17 years for Essentia, 20 years since I've been uh, kind of in the labs uh, working on this. So that's uh, 17 years for the company. Um, you know, initially I was really looking to health protect, health professionals for direction on, on, yeah. on, on how to build this material. What do I need to do? Uh, and it was that's really, awesome. really actually kind of weird because when I developed the product, uh, the foam material itself, the first people that I brought on board were industry guys, marketing, sales, uh, uh, and you know, and, and they were helping, giving me knowledge of the mattress industry. Um, sadly, they were taking me down the wrong path while I was on the side consulting with health gurus and you know, um, uh, yeah. alternative medicine guys and thinking out of the box and seeing what we what we really need. And by the end of nine months. Um, the kind of industry guys were had me making good, better, best mattress because people need a choice and then they choose the one you want. And all this kind of strategic right. thinking on how to sell a product. Um, and uh, they were concerned about bringing a low price product. And I was just so super focused on making the best product. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't looking at, you know, what we're spending or what, you know, it, it was all about performance and the result. Um, so then there was kind of a separation. I had the models that were my passion that were uh, endorsed by some of the health professionals. And uh, then I had these other models that we were building for this industry group. And um, I, I had, I dumped all that. And I said, no, uh, I'm not doing all that. My, my name and my company's not going to represent that. So I, yeah. it, when I went in this direction, then we started um, uh, our products were finding their way through word of mouth to many people who were ill 
recovering from cancer. And we had a kind of transition from when we were helping the, 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 the people who were suffering from, from some type of illness, eventually to people who were in remission. Then it went to people who wanted a healthy organic lifestyle. And then it led to performance. And in that mm. period, I would say from 2007 to 2010, a lot of, uh, a lot of these guys were hearing about us. Guy, probably one of the first was maybe Ben Greenfield. Uh, ben Greenfield did a podcast about our product back in 2011, I believe. Uh, and, and, and from there it grew. Um, Dr. Mark Hyman, believe it or not, he's a great customer of ours. Uh, he's, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and one day he, he reached out to me and he goes, you know, like, um, I use your product. My kids use your product and uh, we love your company. I mean, uh, let me, can I talk about you? <laughs> so then he started talking about us on, on his podcast awesome. and, and to his pay, uh, patients and followers. And, and it kind of developed from there. Those, you know, when, when we, you know, a great hockey story uh, was we, we had um, Andy O'Brien, who is, was a strength and conditioning coach and head of, head of sports science for the Pittsburgh Penguins. He was uh, researching everywhere for the healthiest mattress for himself yeah. and for the players. And he, in his research in looking at the studies and all that, he found Essentia. He flew out to our Toronto location, spent the whole day wow. getting to the product. Then he left and he did all the research on everything that he had learned from us. And then he, you know, he kind of was that pathway for, for the NHL for us because about a week later, I'm, I'm getting calls from you know, Sidney Crosby's agent and Jonathan Taves' agent, all these great uh, elite athletes. And we start providing them with, with mattresses. And it, 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 it grew so quickly. And, and then when all these professionals know about it, that's where all the gurus yeah. know about it as well. Yeah. We had the Chicago Blackhawks send their whole team in for measuring up for their custom mattresses. Uh -huh. And oh, cool. um, and, and, and I even found myself in, in the Stanley Cup finals invited by the Pittsburgh Penguins sitting in the owner's box. And they're kind of thanking me and I'm thanking That's... me. I'm thanking <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay. There are like so many inspiring parts of that story because I am, you know, I, I'm in the fitness, health, you know, online influencer game. And I've also had those moments where it's like, you know, I get hit up by marketers and all these business opportunities. And I've also had to say like, no, dude, like I'm not selling out. I, I recognize that you could make me money talking about something that I don't care about and going down this road that isn't in my heart. And it's like, no, no. And I love that you did that. I love that you were like, um, I'm choosing like goodness and what my soul is asking me to do. And then look what happened, you know? And I love, it's just, it's a great story about like scarcity and like not listening to yourself and be like, okay, I have to do it like that. Cause these guys said, I, you're like, no. And like, look what happened from the Mayo clinic to professional athletes, to some of the biggest hotel chains in the world featuring your mattress. I mean, it's just so cool. It's just like, oh, it's such a great um, example of what happens when we follow our soul and what's in our heart and believe in ourselves and like be adamant about bringing goodness to the world, not just trying to make yeah. money. Cause you basically were like, no, I'm not going to be a taker. I'm going to be a giver. I'm going to contribute something awesome to the world to the point that the strength and conditioning coach, that, that's another, that's the other part that's inspiring. I'm like, wow, he flew out. <laughs> yeah. That's really inspiring. You know, like he was very, that shows why he's at where he's at because that level of commitment to come fly out and actually see the product, you know, make sure before he started recommending it to his um, players, like that's really cool. So well, in, I give you the, it, and it's just, uh, I love when someone is passionate about this and, uh, and yeah. it just, it happened uh, last night. I was in, uh, I was in Tennessee and head coach of, of university of Tennessee uh, was interested in this program for his athletes. And, um, um, Typically hard to get a hold of. Uh, that's what they're, that, they're, they're kind of lining me up for it. He's got a really busy schedule. Everyone's trying. To, I go listen. I'm, I'm in town. If he wants to come out and meet, I'd, I'd be a pleasure to meet him. Anyhow, we we spent like three hours. Uh, he showed up after practice at 8 p.m. and we spent three hours together talking about sleep, recovery, routines, what they should be doing. Yeah. You know, and I just I love to help people. I, I I'd love to give them that information of what their players should do. Because um, I've seen it firsthand, uh, I, I love the team environment as well. You know, the Pittsburgh Penguins they didn't just have better sleep through the products. They, they really um, all bought into this. What they were looking to do, they were looking to repeat 
a championship. And the hardest thing to do, uh, you know, yeah. just slightly harder than winning that championship is repeating that championship. Totally. Right? <laughs> and um, they knew they had the talent, they knew they had the skill set, but the only thing, that, the only edge that they could have to repeat was recovery. Um, they really bought into it. They changed their travel schedules. And they all the players bought into following their circadian rhythm. So nice. and, and, and their internal clock. So they were going to bed the same time, yep. west coast as east coast on the road. Awesome. So they adjusted wow. everything so that the routines were the same. They wow. all kind of bought into the system and they 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 repeated that cup. That's why I was invited. Wow. <laughs> A win for circadian rhythm. That yes, is so exactly. awesome. And yeah, man, like it's been cool to talk to you and, and kind of dive into that and really consider like what, if your mattress itself is part of the thing that's impacting you waking up in the middle of the night, like I've, I've had clients come to me just for sleep. Like, I'm like, okay, they're like, that's my main thing, you know? And it's, 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 I think it's overlooked a lot, the mattress yeah. itself, right? It's like, we hear blackout curtains and cold room and, you know, no screen and, you know, all of these things, but nobody really talks about the thing you're laying on, you know? So I'm, I'm grateful that you came on and shared that with us. And it's, I, 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 I'm a, I mean, obviously I love training. I'm, that was my beginning of my career was in training. I love sports. I love athleticism and I love finding out what high performers are doing, you know? And I always tell my clients, I'm like, LeBron James spends a million dollars a year on his recovery. Like you, you got to <laughs> spend money on recovery. If you're going to be performing like a boss in the gym and in life, like, holy crap. So it's, um, I appreciate you coming on today and sharing this with us. Cause it's a, it's a piece of the puzzle that I haven't really given enough attention to. I personally have overlooked that. So I really appreciate you coming on and sharing it, it, that with it's us. It's one of those things that where, where um, uh, and it happens every time where it's, it's, it's the last thing on the menu where you look at, yeah. um, what's really, really interesting is that when you realize it, then you realize that you've had it flip upside down. Uh, there's a kind of, you know, that, that pyramid of what's important, uh, of, of what you need to put the most yeah. effort in. And, right. you know, if you go back 20 years, it would be tr uh, training would be first nutrition would be second recovery would be third. And it's kind of flipped upside down yeah. where the most important thing is recovery yep. followed by nutrition and yep. followed by training. And it's hard for younger people to understand that because when you're, you know, I agree. 16 to 25, you feel you're invincible. So you think all you need to do is train, right. but I'll tell you all the elite athletes that I work with, they realize that recovery is important at a young age. They figure it out mm -hmm. at 17, 18, whereas wow. most athletes figure it out when they're starting to feel the pain right. but if you're if you're doing it early on that's the kind of that's the game changer that's when you're 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 super focused your you know, your, yep. your reflexes are, 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 right. are you know, way better and you're kind of slowing down the slowdown that happens by through aging right so when, and that's that's the case for everyone you know whether you're an elite athlete ill but everyone in between so the only issue with everyone in between is they're not they're not sensing it as well. They're not as in tune with their bodies yeah. because they're kind of punishing it. We you know bad nutrition, lack of exercise and lack of sleep. Yeah. And so they're not knowing which is the priority yet. Yeah, I, I love that. And I completely agree because I that's why I tell my clients, I'm like, sleep first, because I'm like, if you're under recovered, now you're all inflamed. You have no energy, you're brain dead. You're going to go try You're not even going to get results out of your workout because your yeah. performance is so low and you're just driving inflammation when your body can't handle it now. And you're going to be hungrier all day because your body's trying to find energy from the lack of sleep. So you're going to end up thinking you have emotional eating problems and all this stuff. And you're just tired. You just need sleep. You know, I'm like, it, I, I call it sleep gains. You know, yeah. people talk about gains in the gym. I'm like, get sleep gains. I, um, I've had multiple clients that they had hypothyroidism or, and I'm like sleep. It's just, it's, 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 and you, I love how you're putting like what we think matters. You know what I mean? It's like, I got to take a million supplements and do all these things. And I'm not saying those aren't important, but it's like that foundational piece. I have literally, I'm like, I want to write like a book on it of just what I've seen sleep be able to do. It's like the sleep diet, like sleep is like, it literally will lean you out, boost your mood, 
like make all these emotional problems. Like we're just like big toddlers that are tired is kind of how I see it, yep. you know? And so like, how, how does a toddler act when they didn't get good sleep or they're overdue for a nap? Right. They are a mess. They're a mess. And I'm like looking at all these emotional problems and granted it, I know it's multifaceted, but I'm like, yeah, but if you're not sleeping, like look at little kids, they're just a uh, more, um, more willing to show what's going on with them than adults are. We hide it but that's what's happening. You're, you're tired. You need sleep. Yeah. And, and I, I, I always also say that sleep is, um, the most powerful pre-workout in the world. Right. So Absolutely. if you want to perform in the gym, like just try it one day when you're sleep deprived and then try it one day when you had a really good night's sleep, it's like, I am invincible. Yeah. So anyway, that's I love the, the, the level of happiness, just yeah. the energy, happiness, focus content there's so many things that come out of a really good night's sleep and yep. that, that's where it, it's, it's super powerful so that's when my kind of satisfaction and all this it, it started with a small little path to just trying to make something good um to not even realizing at the time yeah. how powerful yeah. and important this was i didn't know it at the time I, I realized that through the relationships and what i've seen and i've seen people turn things around and um, it, it actually has been pretty incredible how, how important it is. Yeah. It's like a very, very powerful antidepressant, which, which is going to sleep is, which yeah. is going to have a pretty big impact on somebody's quality of life because you just can't, you cannot have the energy to like maximize your life and live the life of your dreams. If you're tired all the time, you just can't. So that's cool. I, I, I can totally see that. You're like, I'm just gonna make a really quite high quality product. And now down the road, you're like, wow, this is actually like really impacting people's lives. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Um, well, we will go ahead and wrap things up. I, so you're all online now, correct? Yeah. Awesome. Where our website is, uh, my .com. Yeah. And that's E S S E N T I a you guys. And you guys were so generous to give our listeners a hundred dollars off. So if you guys use coupon code coach Tara, you can get a hundred dollars off. And they said that's on top of any sale they might be having. So it was just super nice exactly. of you guys. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, any last words to share? I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'm not I'm surprised we haven't crossed paths before. So we haven't met in person yet, but I'm yeah. sure that um, we'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll be at a conference together yes. with biohacking or something. So I'm sure look forward to meeting you in person as well. Likewise. I might know my brain was going, I'm like, I'm sure I've seen them at a conference. <laughs> So yeah, I look forward to it as well. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing today. Thank you.